Hi guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a super creamy and easy cocoa butter body cream. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and start off with the water phase. The water phase makes up majority of this formula. All you need is water and glycerin. Water is going to give it that creamy smooth feel and lighten up the formula Glycerin is going to help to draw in moisture to the skin and keep your skin hydrated and moisturized. Adding a water phase will make your cream a lot more pleasant to the skin and also help it to absorb faster, leaving no greasy residue. This is a great way to enjoy your cocoa butter. Next up is our oil phase. The oil phase is responsible for giving you the softening properties of your cream. It's also responsible for thickening the cream and also adding your emulsifier. This is what allows the water and the oil phase to combine to give you a uniform product and a creamy texture. For our oil phase, I'm adding cocoa butter for its soothing and healing properties, coconut oil for its softening properties, and I'm also going to add our emulsifying wax, which is going to be our emulsifier, which is going to bring the oil and water together for a uniform consistency. Next, I'm adding our thickener, which is cidal alcohol. This is going to improve the skin feel of your product, making it silky and smooth. Finally, we're going to add cocoa nut oil. Cocoa nut oil is a very light oil that absorbs very quickly in the skin, so it's going to leave that moisturize but dry feel so it's not going to be greasy it absorbs fast leaving your skin soft and supple once you have all of your oil phase ingredients you can go ahead and melt them down on low heat once off the stove you can go ahead and pour your water phase directly into your oil phase now we're going to blend using our immersion blender a sheer mixer is very important to ensure that the emulsion is completely uniform and has combined evenly. I blend it for about a good 10-15 minutes on and off. This is still piping hot you guys so be very very careful. And you can see here that the consistency is very very loose and liquidy. It's not viscous at all and this is because it is still piping hot. Once we let it cool down, you will see just how thick the product becomes. After cooling for about 30 minutes, this is the final result. So you can see just how thick the emulsion has become. This will definitely depend on how much water you use, which emulsifier you use, and also what thickeners you use. Now you can take your spatula and stir the product. This will help smooth it out and give you that beautiful, uniform, glossy look that you're looking for in your creams. This cream is so beautiful. I love the way it turned out. Now we are officially in the cool down phase. This is where you can add your heat sensitive ingredients like your fragrance oil, preservative, and also your vitamin E oil. You can also add other ingredients like hydrolyzed proteins and extracts during this phase. Now you're just going to mix all of that together. I usually like to set aside a small amount in order to mix in my cool down ingredients just to make sure nothing destabilizes and then I will add it back into the larger batch. The pH for this final product was a little high so I did add 1-2 to two drops of 50% citric acid solution to bring the pH down to 5.5 which is considered balanced for the skin. I don't know if you guys ever tried the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It's super thick. This is kind of how it feels. It leaves the skin super moisturized, but it absorbs fast, so it doesn't leave it feeling too wet or greasy. It's just the perfect way to incorporate cocoa butter into your routine. And this is the final product. Now you can go ahead and place it into a jar and make sure you have a lid to make sure it's airtight. This preservative will definitely keep the product for a very long time. You can re either refrigerate it or leave it out at room temperature. This should keep for at least 12 months or more. I've been using it on my scars and to moisturize and heal and soothe irritation. 
If you guys remember, I burnt my arm about a month or two ago and I've been using natural ingredients to help it heal quickly, which it did. However, it did leave um, some discoloration. It is darker in that area. Using a cream like this cocoa butter body cream will definitely help to soothe and heal and further even out that skin. So I'm definitely going to see if it holds up to the test of time and I will keep you guys posted. Most of you know Skillshare for classes in photography, film, and editing videos. But did you know Skillshare has hundreds of career-focused classes too? The new year is the perfect time to reinvent yourself and your goals. As a content creator and crafter of handmade hair and skincare, I am constantly looking to take my skills to the next level. To build upon my creative voice and style, I am taking classes that will support my career goals. No goal is too small, whether you're looking for financial stability or just looking to be your own boss. If you are looking to diversify your income and or earn passive income, check out the class by Tiffany Emery. She is a seven-figure Etsy seller and business coach. She will show you step-by-step -step how to launch your business on Etsy. There are also more classes on freelancing tips and how to use Shopify. So what are you waiting for? The first 1,000 people will get one month free trial to explore Skillshare and learn new skills to enhance your career or personal growth. So check the description box down below to go ahead and sign up now. All right, you guys, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this super simple, creamy cocoa butter body cream. Definitely give this recipe a try. Leave a comment down below if you did like it. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can keep up the videos I'm coming up with. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.